How's it going, guys? We have a passable diagnosis, medium difficulty question overall for genetics, pathology, step one. This image shows up a couple times in the NBME exam. Very buzzy. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, element underscore medical, MHL man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. And let's start the clip. Six, six year old man, four month history of pelvic pain. He's lost 10 pounds during this time despite no change in diet. X ray and MRI of the pelvis demonstrate a mass. Biopsy confirms diagnosis. Question wants to know mutation which the following genes most likely responsible for this in this patient so this image here extremely buzzy as i said you say no idea what i'm looking at it's chondrosarcoma all right and chondrosarcoma likes to grow in the pelvis obviously not mandatory it could grow in a number of locations but pelvis is the highest yield now this image here we could describe this as chondrocytes on a background of hyaline slash mycoid matrix. Okay, hyaline is glassy in appearance, mycoid is gelatinous in appearance, and they can describe, obviously this is the histo, the light, micro, the light micrograph, but if they describe a gross appearance of chondrosarcoma, they might say glistening in appearance. That's another, they'll show you this histo, and then they'll tell you a mass is glistening in appearance grossly, okay? So let's just whip through the answer choices here. Should I say, BRCA1 wrong fucking answer, so obviously uh, familial breast cancer could be increased risk for ovarian and uh, testicular in males as well. So what they want you to know for US simile is that this causes problems in recombinational double-stranded DNA repair. That in quotes is an answer on one of the NBME exams, okay? So recombinational double-stranded DNA repair for BRCA. You also need to know that mutations are considered autosomal dominant with reduced penetrance, meaning it skips a generation sometimes. But in terms of the actual pedigrees, and you're trying to interpret the percentages that they might ask you, you want to interpret it as autosomal dominant transmission. That's asked on NBME 31. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, DMD gene, wrong fucking answer. This is the dystrophin gene. This is for Duchenne and Becker. Yes, they expect you to know that Duchenne and Becker are DMD. Okay, they're X-linked recessive. And obviously, Duchenne worse than Becker. Duchenne classically frame shift. Becker not frame shift. And you're going to have your uh, defect in alpha beta dystrophy glycan, which is a protein that anchors the extracellular matrix to the cytoskeleton of the muscle cell. Okay, so... It's a long discussion as far as, yes, Gower maneuver, etc. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C for tax and gene, wrong fucking answer. So if you say, well, that's weird. I'm not really sure what that's associated with. Well, frataxin, Frederick's ataxia. Okay. So look, it's one of the trinucleotide repeat disorders, GAA, holy shit. USMLE actually doesn't give a fuck that you know the specific trinucleotide uh patterns okay like they just or trinucleotide actual uh what they stand for like in other words you don't need to know cag is huntington or ctg is myotonic dystrophy or cgg is fragile x like they don't give a fuck okay students memorize those like hysterically so just frederick ataxia will be literally a kid who has ataxia and you need to know it can cause scoliosis and it can also cause cardiomyopathy Okay, so death from cardiomyopathy can occur. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, FMR1, wrong fucking answer. Stands for Fragile X Mental Retardation Gene 1. You should know the Fragile X gene, okay? I'm not throwing in hyper-obscure genes here. I mean, Frederick Ataxia Fragile X, okay, a little bit above pass level. Obviously, bracket pass level. DMD pass level, but okay, some questions will be a little bit more challenging. So Fragile X, they are not going to obsess over whether it's XR or XD. The literature is variable on it, okay? There are articles that say both. I can tell you in an offline NBME prior to 20, they actually say it's uh, X-linked recessive. But students have said, OMG, here's all these articles where they say it's X-linked dominant. US is not going to focus on that. I'll tell you what they do care about. They want you to know that the mechanism for Fragile X is going to be when you have uh, greater than 200 repeats in uh, CGG, 
you're going to get hypermethylation. So hypermethylation is the answer you need to know for the mechanism. Okay. So fragile X, we get hypermethylation of the gene. That's what they want you to know. And of course, it's going to be the uh, second most common cause of mental retardation due to genetics. First is Down syndrome. Okay. And then third most common cause of mental retardation overall. So first is fetal alcohol syndrome, obviously not genetic. And then Down syndrome, fragile X. Okay. Fragile X is going to be a young boy who's going to have a long, narrow face, long, narrow jaw, large, everted ears. Okay. And they, uh, it could say macro orchidism, large testes. Rarely you can get a question where it's a girl and we have uh, skewed X inactivation. So lionization is the medical or genetics term for X inactivation. So if you have skewed lionization, skewed X inactivation, where let's say 80% of the uh, carrier, so she's obviously a carrier for fragile X. And if 80% of her X inactivation uh, is in favor of uh, the, fra the mutated gene being expressed, then she could have some symptoms, okay? Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, IDH1, isocitrate dehydrogenase 1 gene, correct answer. Now look, this is what goes down sometimes on USMLE. I mean, don't take up your anger with me. No, the USMLE does not give a fuck that you know this gene. In fact, before I made this clip here, what did I do? I went on chat GPT slash Google and I said, can you tell me the genes associated with chondrosarcoma? IDH1, isocitrate dehydrogenase 1, most common. Now you say, well, why are you teaching us nonsense? I'm not. What USMLE does sometimes in its questions is if occasionally there is a very obscure answer choice, they will make it obvious in terms of your ability to eliminate to get there. We say, clearly it's not fucking breast cancer slash testicular cancer, BRCA wrong. Clearly it's not fucking Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophy, dystrophies DMD wrong. It's clearly not Frederick ataxia. It's clearly not fragile X. And then, holy shit, we're left with this weird slash obscure gene, never heard of before. That's how we answer this question. So the true assessment here, the value of this question is the histo. Okay, knowing that this is chondrosarcoma, it grows in the pelvis classically, and knowing these four genes, A through D. And if you know these really well, then you can eliminate them, obviously, and you're left with the obscure answer choice, IDH1. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.